Before Tommy Thompson went on the run, according to authorities, he lived in Vero Beach for seven years. News Channel 5's John Shaneman spoke with a man who rented an old mansion to Thompson and his assistant. He continues our team coverage from Indian River County with a story you'll see only on 5. That's what it looked like at the bottom of the ocean. Vance Brinkerhoff knew Tommy Thompson's story not just from a book. But he really wound up being um, the wild professor. Back in 2004, the Vero Beach realtor rented Gracewood to him. And this old mansion was built in the 1930s, just off State Road 60. This was um, Tom's office. Brinkerhoff said Thompson really lived in the pool house, which he was very protective of. There was a massive mold problem in the kitchen area. Frankly, I suspect that's where he was keeping the cash. Brinkerhoff said the rent money always smelled. To honor Thompson's wish for privacy, Brinkerhoff put the utilities in his name. The two occasionally socialized. We like to talk about um, some of the artists and French Impressionists. When an internet search turned up the warrant for his tenant's arrest in 2012, Brinkerhoff contacted Thompson's attorney. And the chase was on. Even though Thompson hasn't lived here for more than two and a half years, his presence is still felt. There's a box truck, a travel trailer, and a van of his still on the premises. Brinkerhoff says he was questioned by U.S. Marshals, who found these tubes in the pool house, another likely hiding place for treasure, he was told. Never showed me any coins. No. Don't, don't think I didn't ask. But this Brinkerhoff felt his friend would uh, have been a local treasure. I was hoping for a more positive conclusion for all of us. One question still unanswered is some of Thompson's treasure on the Treasure Coast. In Vero Beach, John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.